vlogging. But this is not a car vlog today. I'm going to Costco. I'm going to show you what you can get. That is keto at Costco. I'm going to go through there pretty quickly, see what I can find. My goal is to get out of Costco under $100 today. Can I do it? I don't know. I've never been out of Costco under $300, ever. But I don't need a lot of stuff, but you know, they suck you in on some things. So I can't really promise this can be under $100, but I'm going to try to keep my bill really low, but I'm going to show you all the things you can get for keto at Costco. Doesn't mean I'm going to buy them all, okay? But then at the end, I'll show you what I actually did get. So yeah, I'm excited to get to Costco. It's Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. TGIF. Let's get to Costco. Costco. These are a really good thing to get. I like these smokehouse almonds. These are dirty keto for $14.79. Sriracha almonds? You know, these suckers are hot and tasty. What's the carbs on them? Three net carbs for a quarter cup, basically. Not bad. $8.89 for a bag of them. You love these Hempler's Uncured Lan Hager Sausages. They're really good. Macros, two grams for a big old stick. It's $14.49 for a container. And you get about 16 sticks in the container. These are nice, clean keto. I also love these. These are dirty keto. Oboe Alberto 100% beef pepperoni, $12.99. And this is 24 ounces. They used to carry the Dukes here, but they've been carrying these instead. Zero net carbs. So, hey, and $10.99 for 16 ounces. So these are little tiny sticks, okay? But they're keto too, just dirty keto. Costco started carrying the Tillamook Zero Sugar Beef Jerky, definitely keto, definitely clean. I have this at home, I'm not getting it now. But you get two packs, and each pack is six ounces for $14.89. Very affordable. And keto. Right here are dirty keto. They are keto though. It's their macros. 22 grams of total carbs, but 15 grams of fiber and four erythritol. So you minus 19 from that, you got three net carbs. Okay. And this one's 23, 15, and 4. Uh, yeah, so this one is actually 4 net cards. So that's for the chocolate brownie and the chocolate chip cookie dough. You can have these. These would be considered dirty keto because the ingredients are not clean and organic. But $17.99, you get 20 bars. Not bad. Cheaper than Quest is the Keto Collagen Powder. I've gotten this before. This is chocolate flavor right here. It has an MCT oil, but it's only five grams of it. It's 30 bucks, but I they used to have the Vital Proteins here. It's not right here. I'm hoping I find it. If I don't find it, I'm getting this one. And then all my uh, coffee's gonna be chocolate, which is fine. Orgain Organic Protein Powder powder with probiotics and I have added that to my coffee instead of the Premier but I do not get the vanilla bean it's higher carb than the chocolate fudge so this is the one to buy if you want to get it creamy chocolate fudge not vanilla bean and it's 30 bucks for this huge container and I've had my container a long time it's almost three pounds this Orgain simple organic plant protein powder. This is why. It's 11 nut carbs, 4 fiber, no, and it, they added 5 grams of added sugar to it. So this is 7 net carbs for 2 scoops. So that's a no. This is a yes. Chocolate fudge. Premier protein shake is not organic. Okay, so let's look at these Orgain clean protein shakes. Just because it's organic doesn't mean it's keto, right? 11 carbs, 
two fiber, three grams of added sugar. So this is nine net carbs. This is not keto, okay? But it doesn't have the carrageenan. Let me see if they're permitted. Normally for a case of, how many is in here? 18 of these, it would be $26.99. Today it's $19.99. Boom, right there. Carrageenan and sucralose. Hmm. I don't use these very often. That's going to be okay with me. But I really want to stay away from that carrageenan. It can really spike your blood sugar. And so can the sucralose for me. Not all people, but for me it does. So, hmm. I don't know. I'm going to keep it in my cart. I might get it. Okay, I've, here's another Orgain one. Let's try. Macros are better. But it's six carbs, okay? It doesn't have any added sugars. I love that. It's from all the vegetables they added in here. There's even bananas. So this is not keto. But there's no carrageenan. So it depends on where you're at and what kind of protein you need and how many net carbs you've been consuming, whether you can have this. But it would be dirty keto because of banana, carrots, rice bran is in here I would not buy this personally nope but that is that one so as you can see you got to be careful with protein shakes and carrageenan Thomas Delauer says will spike your blood sugar and make you hold on to water weight so maybe that's been my issue I think I'm gonna put back this premier protein shakes and I'm gonna live without it and I'll use that powder I have instead. Now I'm in the section where all the supplements are and like your tunnel and all that stuff. This is the MCT oil I use. It's $5 off right now, making it $17.99 for two 20 ounce bottles. That is an amazing deal. I'm getting that. That's the MCT oil. And normally the Vital Proteins powder would be sitting here, the collagen, it's not here. I'm worried. At the end, if I don't find it in the store somewhere, I'll get that keto collagen. Goodness, this is new at my Costco. They got individual bags of Wisp. I love me some Wisp. They got the Parmesan and the cheddar. There's 14 bags. Go ahead and get that for $10.99. I won't have to measure it out. It's a quick take and go when you're heading out the door. Besides Wisp, you can get moon cheese here. It's way cheaper than you get at Starbucks. And they have the cheddar and the Gouda at my store. I prefer the pep pepper jack, but Gouda is really good too. $8.99 for a 10 ounce bag. I don't need moon cheese, but that's a good thing to get. On Holy Costco is this. I see the word keto, but is it? Keto certified snaps, chocolate snaps. I have never seen this organic it's chocolate and almond and coconut it looks like it is three carbs per two pieces so it's like a quick little keto snack 9.59 made with 85 percent cocoa dark chocolate i'm not going to get these but these are definitely something you can have on keto not be fooled by the word cauliflower. Manufacturers are getting smart and adding things like keto and cauliflower and stevia and MCT oil to their labeling, but it's not keto. 17 net carbs for 44 crackers and it's 6.79. Yeah, not keto. Another warning for you, just because I said it's gluten-free doesn't mean it's keto. Okay, it's a total big difference, 22 net carbs, okay? So here is the big bags of Wisp right here that they sell here for 10 bucks for 9.5 ounces. Do you see this, the non-keto stuff they put on sale, bad for you goldfish crackers? Come on, put the Wisp on sale. But this would be a more affordable option for me to buy. It's 9.5 ounces. It's just Parmesan though, not the cheddar. So I'm going to be more economical and buy this. I'll, I'll weigh them out and I'm going to get rid of this. 
but both of those are keto and both of them are good I'm just being cheap if you like seaweed organic seaweed definitely keto sardines are on sale keto Let's talk tuna Thomas DeLauer was talking about it the other day and people think getting albacore white tuna is more healthy for them than getting chunk light and he said it's the opposite actually getting the cheap chicken of the sea chunk light tuna is more healthy for you than the albacore you'll have to watch his video he did like a costco haul he was in costco you have, and he'll tell you why i can't remember the scientific about it but get the chunk light it's better for you it's $12.99 for 12 cans. That is an awesome price. This is a staple for me in my house. Bacon crumbles, $9.69 for a 20 ounce bag. It's good to just throw on your salads, throw in your eggs, throw in anything you want. Get your fats in and get your yummy, yummy bacon in, right? So $9.69 for a 20 ounce bag. So, you know, pretty much all your canned meats are considered keto or dirty keto thomas says stay away from the chicken breast it's just full of garbage but it's good in a pinch i have it at home too so your wild pink salmon i don't like pink but yep even your spam dirty keto but keto vienna sausage your canned roast beef your summer sausage right here a good place to get your chia seeds is here 6.89 for three pound bag the hip hearts i do like those it's 14.99 for a one pound 1.5 pound bag none of these spaghetti sauces are considered keto okay they usually have a victoria or a victorino spaghetti sauce here which is keto but these all have a lot of added sugar in it stay away from it the kirkland kind the classico and the prego your canned keto veggies you can get here your organic diced tomatoes your organic tomato paste and your organic tomato sauce i've been known to use all three 10.99 for six 8.5 ounce bags of rice cauliflower this is not in the freezer section i mean it's good in a pinch they're microwavable bags, good in a pinch, definitely keto. I prefer to use the frozen, it's more affordable. Do you see that word on soup? Keto friendly, simply green soup. Spinach, avocado, broccoli, cauliflower, and hemp hearts. Let's check it. And it is, it's five net carbs for one cup of this soup. If you just had a hankering for soup, you can have this soup. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna think about that. It's $13.99, so $14 for eight cans. And I wonder, there's probably two servings in each can. So, I mean, it's definitely something you can think about to buy for keto. You gotta be careful when they're putting keto friendly. That means it's dirty keto, right? And it might not be. So you need to look at the ingredients and look at the carb count. My favorite mayo. It's here at Costco, it's Chosen Foods, avocado may mayonnaise, it doesn't have any of the bad oils in it. It's $6.89 for a 24 ounce bottle. I do love the Cholula hot sauce for tacos too. And this can be used on keto. Um, see that? Zero everything. So you get two big bottles of that for $7.99. It's a paste picante sauce. I wouldn't buy these big bottles because they go bad before we eat them. But um, so it's two carbs per a two tablespoons. And I would put that on top of eggs or top of tacos. It definitely would work. She can get your pickles here. Nally pickles, whole baby deals. I do not see sugar listed. So the carbs are only coming from the cucumbers. That's a win. Nally's baby deals. I got pickles at home, so I'm not going to get them for $4.79 for two 33.8 ounce bottles. Great deal. Two 33 ounce bottles of marinated artichoke hearts. What is it? It says total carbohydrates, two grams of fiber, making this a negative one net carb. I don't know about that. I think I'm going to have to look that up on my own. Saying it has a negative carb count doesn't seem right to me so I'm gonna have to look that up I do not like 
pickled asparagus, but if you do, $10.69 for two big bottles. This is marketed as paleo, but I bet it's keto too. It's grass-fed beef bone broth packets, so you can take on the go. It's zero net carbs, so definitely keto. It's $13.59 for 15 point, you know, half ounce packets. Kind of expensive for bone broth, oops. But it's definitely an option for you, and you get 10 grams of protein per pack. So it's definitely keto, definitely an option, not in my budget. The Pacific bone broth there, it is only eight cents per an ounce. And this right here is $1.71 per an ounce. This is your more affordable, best option right there. Get your nuts here, it's so affordable. Walnuts, $12.69 for a three pound bag. Almonds, $12.49 for a three pound bag. These are all raw. You can roast them and salt them yourself. I do that. I get my pecans here. And it's $11.99 for a two pound bag. And I toast them up with cinnamon and egg white and stevia. It's like a candy pecan. My favorite. Of course, all the olive oils are good to buy here. And the avocado oil should be here somewhere. So $8.99 for a 28 ounce bag of Lacanto is a great price. I don't need it, but get this here at Costco, Lacanto. My favorite place to get almond flour is here at Costco. It's $12.99 for a three pound bag. It's super fine. It's great flour. Also coconut oil, great price. 84 ounces for 14 bucks. That's amazing. Great price. If you're buying coconut oil to eat and everything, make sure it's organic virgin coconut oil so you're getting the cleanest coconut oil, not the refined. If you don't like the coconut flavor, use avocado oil. Use these avocado oil sprays. It's $5.99 for two, about five ounce containers. If I run out of my Trader Joe's coconut oil spray, I use this. Okay, here is that Montreal steak seasoning you see I use a lot of. It's $6.79 and it's a 29 ounce bottle of it. I love this stuff. Oh, the Lowry, Larry's garlic salt or Lowry's garlic salt is really good to get. It is $6.89 for a 33 ounce thing. This lasts forever in my house. Of course, all your spices here you can get. Want to drink your vinegar instead of take the pill? Get your apple cider vinegar here. It's $7.69 for two 32 ounce bottles. Or no, three. You get three of them. So that's a really good deal right there. It's raw, unfiltered, organic apple cider vinegar. That's what you want to drink. Here's the Chosen Foods avocado oil that I get. It is, I'm, it's really busy in here. $10.79 for a 33.8 ounce bottle. Really affordable, nice, pure avocado oil. Great to cook with. Of course, almond butter, also organic peanut butter. You know I prefer my Skippies. This has that oil on top. I don't like, but it's definitely something you can get. Okay, it is $7.99 for this mixed nut butter. It has chia seeds, flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, cashews. So I wonder what the carb count is. Thomas says this is good to get because of the chia seeds. It's four net carbs, so it'd be like eat, eating my Skippy peanut butter. I'm not gonna get it, but you could definitely have this. Love the organic sweetened, unsweetened vanilla almond milk right here, $7.99 for six quarts. So it's 32 ounces is a quart. So you get six of them in there, not bad. Stick to almonds and you can only do coconut milk. You can get this so delicious here. You get six quarts for $10.99. So they're charging you more for the coconut milk than the almond milk. We're in the coffee aisle. Of course, it's affordable to get coffee here. This is the coffee I prefer to get, the classic roast and Folgers. I know a lot of people say gross, but hey, I like it. This is cheap. It's 3.2 pounds of ground coffee for $9.49. I just want to show you this Splenda. Stay away from this. Why? 
Let me show you. Let's find the ingredients. Do you see that? Dextrose, maltodextrin, then sucralose. These two spike your blood sugar more than regular table sugar does. So you might as well just eat regular sugar. Do not get the Splenda. Crazy. That is a no-go and it harms your gut bacteria. Also not keto. I'm always hopeful with the spread aisle that Costco would get their act together and get some keto breads in here. My God, they did. It's keto bread. Do you see this? Zero Net Carb by Franz. This is a local bakery here. And it's white bread. Two loads of bread. Zero Net Carbs. Really? Let's see. Oh my God. I really didn't think they were going to get this in. Look at that. It is zero carbs. 12 carb. Then 12 fiber. That is zero Net Carbs. How much is it? Look at that. Only $8 for two loaves. I'm going to freeze one of these loaves. Oh, yeah. You are mine. You're coming home. I'm so excited, if you can't tell. Look at that. Costco got keto bread. I can't believe it. I do this every time, and they never have anything. And today, they do. Oh, Danielle told me about this, that she found Fran's zero-car bread, but she had to go to the store. Hey, Danielle, she lives here in Washington. Get you some Costco keto bread. Eight bucks for two loaves. That's four dollars a loaves. And Breeks <laughs> beat Sola out of the ball power. Oh my god, thank you so much, Costco. You have heard our cries and our begs and got you some keto bread in here. Get to Costco. Okay, I'm not gonna show you all this. It's really busy in here, but all your dairies, your cheeses, all right? Look at your labels, find the best one in the affordable option. I don't need cheese right now. Baby Bells are awesome, okay? And they even got the Organic Valley String Cheese in. They have upped the price on Kerrygold. During Christmas, I got it for $8.99. It's normally $11.99 for a four-pack, but look at that, went up a dollar. $12.99 for a four-pack. Still more affordable to get your Kerrygold here at Costco, but dang, I stocked up at Christmas. I got a bunch in the freezer. Finally got my frozen broccoli for let's back in. It's $8.99 for a 4.4 pound bag. I'm definitely getting me that. I just noticed it's not organic, but it does say pesticide free. I don't know if I believe them, but they're four steamable bags. I'm gonna get it. Beans are keto. You can get the extra fine green beans here, $7.49 for five pounds. That's a great price. Unfortunately, peas are not considered keto, but you can get away with it and do a dirty keto thing. It's because of the sugar content and a pea. But hey, organic zucchini spirals are keto. It does not, oh, they're $9.99 for a three pound bag. I don't like them frozen, they get mushy. If you do dirty keto, you can get your beef hot dogs here. I don't really eat hot dogs, I like bratwurst. Um, I just don't think it's the best ingredients. Favorite lunch meat to get here is the uncured black forest ham for $5.49. Now that I got bread, I might get this. It's $5.49 a pound. Remember, it's per pound, not per pack. Okay? So like this pack would cost me $9.28. You know, it's a good price. You can freeze half, half of it if you need to. This is good until February 28th, so I'm going to get it. This is where I get my Hormel sliced pepperoni from my Fathead Pizzas right here. Big old pack for $8.39. Good price. Also, your Jimmy Dean's uh, sausage roll. It's dirty keto, but it's good. Three pounds. I think it's like one carb per serving, maybe two. Kirkland brand sliced bacon right here. I really like it. Not the low sodium one, the regular one. And it's $13.99 for four pounds, so it's a good price. You can eat your damn berries, as Nicole would say, on keto, um, but only berries. So blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, they're all good. You can get your berries here. I almost forgot to show you rice, cauliflower, four one-pound bags for $7.79. See how much cheaper that is than that on-the-shelf stuff and less preservatives. Really good to get here. I'm going to get it. I think you get four separate bags. It's organic. 
Yeah, four 16 ounce bags. You know what I'm gonna do? Since Thomas says I need to limit broccoli, and you have to watch the video for the reason, but I'm gonna get this and not this. And the reason is because this is not an organic. I would have bought both if this was organic. Do not buy these. These are like 26 net carbs. Yeah. Color pizza crust that don't say cauliflower, only 22 net carbs. You see? You see? Yeah. Jumping on the keto bandwagon right here. Not keto. Not keto. Oh my god, they're getting me today. Look at that. Keto ice cream bars. <laughs> $11.99 for 12. It says two grams of net carbs. Oh, yeah. I didn't plan on getting any treats, but oh, God. Yeah, gonna get it. Gonna get it. Wait. What's the ingredients? I'm just looking for multidextrin or dextrose in here. Or dextrin. It's okay. There is tapioca fiber in here but that's all right love me some ice cream it's 11.99 for 12 bars kind of expensive i'm actually putting this back right now until i'm done this will be the last thing i come and get is right here i am under the fans costco stepping up their keto game i'm starting to really like costco even more <laughs> of course you can get your ground hamburger patties to make burgers i like that 100 percent grass fed five pounds for 20 bucks so good these are wild alaskan salmon burgers here 15.99 for 12 of them it's a great price and that is so yummy all your fishes you can get here at costco try to make sure they're wild caught and not farm sludge you know the deal hope this is implied but no breading okay no breaded fish. Frozen chicken here, but no breading or processed chicken. These chicken wings to do hot wing. And they're on sale right now, $4 off. So it's $12.99 for four pounds of wings. That's great. $45.05 pork rinds. These are really good. This is chili sea salt. They're on sale, $2 off. $4.79 for a big old bag. They're mine. Yes, mine. I really do like these propels right here. You get a case of 24 for 10.49. Great to get your electrolytes in. It's considered dirty keto, but you can definitely get the rotisserie chicken here. Zero carbs, shred it up, use it for sandwiches, chicken salad. <laughs> I like this because I want it to be 100% beef. It's $19.99 for three one and three quarter pound or one and a third pound package you can also do the ground bison right here it's 20 bucks for two two packages which is only two and a half pounds so more affordable option cleaner option is this and the most affordable is this you're a family on the budget. Actually, the most affordable would be this. It's three forty-nine a pound. It's twenty-two bucks in this package for six and a third pound. So right now it's two seventy-nine for country-style pork ribs. Not bad. Not bad. I prefer the bonus four pack of roasts that I made. Uh, I made one of them on my video the other day. Look at that! You get four of them for eighteen bucks. Pork sirloin tip roast, really good stuff. Ribs I prefer to buy at Costco right here. Louis St. Louis style spare ribs, a really good price. You get two big things for twenty one bucks. Not bad. That's like two meals for me and my husband right there if not three right good price in a pan here all your meats and fishes right all your fresh and frozen meats okay all of it is all good all keto some's dirty some's clean right so yeah that's it stay away from that deli section right there mostly not keto Okay, here's some new products, organic cauliflower bites. 3.30 off today is a keto. 
just because it says cauliflower doesn't make it keto. Hope I'm teaching ya. Not keto. 17 net carbs. No. Okay, we got organic mashed cauliflower. Let's see. Is it keto? What in the holy heck are they adding to make it seven net carbs? Oh my gosh, do you see this ingredient list? Yeah, not keto to me. I mean, it's keto, but yeah. I'm not wasting seven net carbs on mashed cauliflower. Blech. I love both of these things. These chicken skewers are really good. Definitely keto. It is three carbs for two skewers. So good in a pinch. These grilled chicken strips, good in a pinch, throw on a salad, make whatever. Those should be zero carb. Yeah, zero net carbs for grilled chicken strips. It's $5.99 per pound for already made beef pot roast. It's only four net carbs per serving. This is dirty keto, but keto. You can use this in a pinch if you don't have time to cook. Probably these lamb shanks here with, I don't know, it has pomegranate sauce on it, so. But it's seven nut carbs, yeah. You could get away with it, dirty keto. All the cheeses, okay, all the cheeses. I love this Kerrygold cheese right here, the Dubliner, it's yum. All the cheeses here. These snack packs of uh, California snacking is really good, it has a, uh, Provolone cheese and bite-sized salami in there for $11.39 for eight packs. Great price for a snack. Take on the go. Prosciutto. All those are good. They don't have any cheese that's close to my caramelized onion cheese. I really like it. But you can have all these cheeses. Just watch your carb counts. Now this is dirty keto, but I love to dip my whisk in this artichoke jalapeno parmesan dip. One carb for two tablespoons. Really good. Really good. I'm trying to do a keto cut right now, so I'm not going to buy it because it's hard to stay out of that tub. <laughs> this is really good. You can also do the spinach artichoke parmesan. But that right there with the jalapeno in it gives it a little kick. Oh my god. $7.99 for a 30 ounce tub. Oh, I really want to get it right now because I'm hungry. I, all I've had is coffee. I'm staying away. Pushing it back. No. These anti-pasto platters right here at Costco are really good for a snack on the go. You just take a couple of pieces of these meat out and chomp on them with some cheese. It's good to go. I used to buy those all the time for work. The Italian dry salami as well. All right. $11.99 for that two packs, $13.89 for that uh, 32 ounce packs. You get two 32 ounce packs in here. Good price. Oregon, I love these eggs right here. $5.99 for two dozen. Do not buy Dairy Gold Heavy Whipping Cream at Costco. Mine does not carry organic Horizon Organic Whipping Cream like I see on other people's video. This is why. Do you see what that says? That says 40% heavy whipping cream and the rest is fillers. So it's not really heavy whipping cream, right? You can also get the Kirkland organic eggs. I do buy those from time to time. It's $6.39 for two dozen. If you don't care about organic, but at least get cage free. It's $3.79 for two dozen. You can't beat that price. That's amazing. I knew these are not marketed as organic, but I know Wilcox, I love their eggs. And it's only $5.99 versus $6.39. Way darker yellow yolks than those eggs over there. So I prefer, if I'm buying them at Costco, to get these. First started keto, I was buying these a lot. I got sick of the flavor, but this is definitely a keto item. Let's see, I think it's two carbs from memory. I haven't bought these in months. Long time. Yeah, two carbs per serving. It's $9.89, you get four, no, how many packs you get? One, two, three, four. Yeah, 
four packs of them. Here we go again. Cauliflower linguine. Gluten-free. Grain-free. Gotta be keto, right? Gotta be keto? Mm -mm. No. Do you see that? 45 grams of carbohydrates and only 4 grams of fiber. So this is 41 net carbs for 3 ounces of linguine. Not keto. Definitely keto. Egg thins with cauliflower. I prefer the folio wraps, but you can definitely get these. These are made with egg and cauliflower. It's $7.89. You get two packs of 12, so it's 24 wraps. I prefer $8.39 for Parmesan folio wraps. I make my taco shells out of there, or I just roll up some things and cheese. It's really good. I'm out. I'm getting that. I really love these Teton Polish sausages. They're 100% grass-fed beef. $13.79. You get three packs of four in here. So that's 12 of them. Not bad for grass-fed, right? And they're good. They're really good. 100% grass-fed, grass-finished, which is important. Beef. Kibosses. One net car per link. That is really good. So it's $8.89 per pound. So this pack is gonna cost you 20 bucks though. Eh, ain't worth 20 bucks to me. Oh, this is really good. Quick on the go, smoke for port is awesome. I've had these, these are really good too. These paleo, organic, they're also keto, okay? $13.79 to buy these a lot, these chunky guacamole on the go, little two card packs in here and you get 16 for $8.99. I picked that one up and it all fell apart. <laughs> healthy, healthy noodle? What in the heck? Let's check this out. This is new. Oh my gosh. This is keto. Five carbs, four fiber. It makes them one carb for four ounces. Oh man. Zoe bean fiber powder. That might be okay for you. I stay away from soy. It's $14 for six eight ounce packs of needles. Yeah. I mean, this is definitely an option for you, but not for me because it's soy bean. All right, keto snack mix. I actually have this at home. Uh, a nurse bought that for me on my last day of work there as a going away present. <laughs> So this is really good. It has macadamia nuts in it, pecans, pitas, which are pumpkin seeds, almonds, and cheese balls, and probiotics. For $9.89, you get a 24-ounce bag. That's really good, but make sure you weigh it out. I guess they're testing it here, and she's like, and try it. <laughs> so I'm going to have to count this. I don't know how I'm going to count this, but I'm going to have this. It's so good. That's what it looks like in there. I just didn't get a cheese ball. Maybe I can get her to give me a cheese ball. Hey, she helped me out and popped me a cheese ball in there, but that's a keto snacks mix. I'm gonna eat that. Okay, here I am in the fruits and vegetables section. Definitely you can buy them here. I do not buy them here because I'm only a family of two and it'll go back. Bought me avocados last night, but I would get these here. Okay, really affordable price. Five count for $6.99 or five count for $8.99 if you go organic. I have tried these and they're good, but I don't suggest you buy them because there's maltodextrin in them. Let's say, yeah. You see where it says maltose? That's a fancy word for maltodextrin, so not keto. But they're really good and crunchy. Too bad. Why they had to add maltodextrin in there is a preservative, but it spikes your blood sugar. 10 times more than table sugar. It's time for me to get out of here. I cannot believe they don't have my collagen here. I'm gonna be stuck with that organ. Not that it's a bad one, but I don't like flavored collagen. Or I might order it off of Amazon. Really packed in here, it is Friday. But I'm gonna go get those keto bars. Those ice cream bars. Oh yeah, right now. Okay, so I got out of Costco $120.82. I did not get out under 100, and that's because they have some really good keto stuff. 
So, but pretty good. I'm way under 300 and way under 200. So I'm happy with that. Let's go through what I purchased. Okay, first things first, I got those keto ice cream bars. No sugar added. I can't wait to try these. I will be having how it tastes video for these keto bars. And yes, I got the keto white bread. I'm going to do a video that will have both of these in there. How does it taste? Okay, definitely stay tuned for that. So you can see how that bread tastes and those bars taste. So I got the MCT oil I showed you that was on sale. That was a great deal today. I got the uncured black forest ham. And this one was $9.28 as you saw. I was out of bacon crumbles so I got some bacon crumbles. I got organic frozen rice cauliflower that needs to go in the freezer. I got some more Parmesan Folio cheese wraps. I got my organic ground beef. Remember, this is $20, so these are the big ticket items. Was $20 for this. I got two racks of ribs for $21.12, and then that was $17. And that's it, people. That was $120.82 at Costco. Can you believe it? I lied. I got these 4505 chicarones, pork rinds, chili, and sea salt. These are really good. So that was $120. Does not seem like much that I got, but you know, they put the label keto on it. It's not going to be cheap. Plus, you know, a lot of this stuff is going to last me. I got three packages of hamburgers. That's at least three meals right there. I got two racks of ribs. That's two meals right there. Huge bag of pork rinds. That's going to last me a long time. A huge pack of lunch meat, which you know isn't cheap. So that's going to make several keto sandwiches with that keto bread, which I'm hoping is good. Stay tuned for that. How does it taste video? And you know, the MCT oil is going to last me at least two months. That's what the bottle, I still got a half a bottle I'm working on. And I've been buying those two packs. So it's about two months for each pack. So, you know, the, the cauliflower is four one pound bags. That's at least four mils. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's $120, but I get a lot of meals out of it. So, I think it's affordable. I hope you like this Costco haul I showed you. Now, my haul is very small, right? If I would have bought all that stuff, you've been in the 500s, you know, at least. But, um, I showed you what you can get at Keto, and I hope you enjoy that. Uh, did I say I showed you what you can get at Keto? I showed you what you can get at Costco on Keto for an affordable price. Hopefully this helps you like it did me. I found some Keto treats. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. For more, I'll be bringing a Walmart haul, a Trader Joe's haul, I'll be doing more hauls. There is some on my channel, so go check that out. That's when I was new to keto, but they're good. Okay, they're all good and all keto. All right, bye. Stay tuned for how does it taste video.